It's a quarter after eight at KFOG, San Francisco, San Jose. Chuck Prophet, Jonathan Richmond in the studio. Nice to see both of you again. Yeah. We're going to uh, get a tune out of you guys in just a second, but we want to talk about what's happening tomorrow night. Chuck, you want to be the spokesperson for this? I'll do my best. Okay. Uh, uh, tomorrow night at the uh, Swedish American uh, Music Hall in San Francisco, we're organizing a benefit for the uh, West Memphis Three. Tomorrow being West Memphis Three World Awareness Day, and uh, if you don't know about the West Memphis Three, it's a it's a, a, a profoundly tragic story about three boys uh, from West Memphis, Arkansas, have served already ten years time, and the case of Damian Eccles is on death row, awaiting execution for. Um, the crime of really nothing more than having some Metallica T-shirts and Stephen King novels under their beds. So they were convicted of, of killing a couple kids, but uh, you know the the story is that that uh, really there wasn't much evidence there, and that uh, you know kind of wrangled a confession that was uh, immediately taken back. But uh, they they went with that confession, something to that effect. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, D- uh, Jesse Miss Kelly Jr. Um, was uh, questioned without his parents or any lawyers uh, present, and after 12 hours and nothing to eat and a promise that he could see his mom and dad. He was a child with a with a pretty low IQ, borderline, you know, challenge. He later recounted the confession, and 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 the police had nothing to go with other than to invent this uh, uh, satanic ritual kind of uh, concept. These kids wore not strange clothes, but clothes that other kids didn't wear. You mentioned Metallica T-shirts. Yeah, I mean, this is San Francisco, and it's hard to even imagine a place yeah. on Earth where you know, looking like Edward Scissor's hands can you know uh, put you on. In, you can end up on death row, and it's very real because it happened. There's um, HBO made a couple of movies about uh, documentaries called I think Paradise Lost one and two, right? Which is a really good, well, more than a primer. It tells you the whole story. Yeah, absolutely. There's there's three really great sources. Uh, uh, luckily for the for Jesse and uh, Damien and um, Jason, HBO made a documentary called Paradise Lost, which is available everywhere. There's also a, a really comprehensive website, uh, WM3.org, and uh, an excellent book called The Devil's Knot by Mara Leverett that uh, you can learn a lot more about the history of the case. We just had the Live 8 shows. Jonathan, I know a couple of years ago you did a benefit for Matt Gonzalez during the mayoral race. Can, can musicians make a difference on social and political issues? I guess... Well, I'll ask Jonathan since I alluded to the Matt Gonzalez thing. Well, I think it's to do what you believe in. In my case, I'm not sure I care about whether musicians can make a difference in other arenas. I actually personally think uh, a lot of times it's best to just stick to playing guitar. (laughs) Um, But if something comes up that grabs you emotionally, to me, the question is not when it's a musician. It ain't about politics it's about emotion. And it's like, if someone then grabs you emotionally, then music and that fit, in my opinion. So, I, I think a lot of musicians connected with this, especially when the movie came out, I think a lot of musicians connected with it. And I also think that, really, you know, I have to thank Tammy at the website, because I would check in with the case, and she just, she, she declared July 23rd, West Memphis 3, World Awareness Day, and challenged anybody who had ever thought about doing anything or threatened to do anything, and that really was kind of what got me going on my cell phone and and it really wasn't that difficult to organize a lot easier than hanging drywall I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday show is the money going to go to the legal defense fund yeah, for these kids. Yeah. Damian or? Eccles still has an appeal pending at the federal level and it would be great to get some money together for some DNA testing and just get some ammo together so that we can prove their innocence. And Do I you? think that would be a wonderful thing. I think we actually can do something. You guys will be there. Who else is on the bill for the show? Oh, we've got uh, Kelly Stoltz, great, great uh, singer-songwriter, um, uh, Mark Kozlik from the Red House Painters, uh, Dr. Frank, one of my favorite local songwriters from the Mr. T Experience. He's going to be playing later <laughs> that night at the Slims. Yeah. And uh, we've also got... Um, do, 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 do. No, uh, oh, I, I invited Stephen. He was on again. <laughs> he was really the most... Out of all my difficult, uh, talented friends, he was definitely the most difficult. I think he he called later and said he had to get his wash his hair that night or something. Oh. Oh.
<laughs> you can have a, like a, like an but option. But I, I reached to... out <laughs> yeah. Yeah. because it's about tolerance. You know, <laughs> Jonathan just looks confused. What, over there. What's washing hair? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's something we do once a year, whether we need it or not. Okay, uh, real fast, right. you're gonna have like an auction too, or something, right? With yeah, items and yeah, we've got an auction. Uh, we've got some uh, CDs and stuff from Tom Waits and Michael Franti, and in the case of the Counting Crows, they sent us a signed guitar. Cool. So. Uh, uh, we'll hopefully raise some money with that. And I think there's just $5 raffle tickets, and you might end up winning something really neat. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's tomorrow night. Uh, meanwhile, do a tune for us. Okay, how about, look. <laughs> well, when David fought Goliath, there on the valley floor, that gave hope to the underdog forevermore. Oh, but David fought Goliath with a stone. David fought Goliath, naked with a stone. Power of the spirit over the bone. Yeah, up to D now. <laughs> King Saul, what about King Saul? What was his position on the subject? <laughs> King Saul said, you can't fight him. He's a giant, don't you see? Look, I've already fought the lion. This Goliath just don't scare me Oh, David fought Goliath with a stone Oh, David fought Goliath naked with a stone Power to the spirit over the bone Guitar <laughs> Goliath laughed at David What, have they sent a boy with sling? Come closer to me, youngster Let the vultures laugh and sing Oh, but David fought Goliath with a stone Oh, David fought Goliath Naked with a stone <laughs> Power to the spirit over the bone. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was nice. That was <laughs> Chuck Prophet, Jonathan Richmond again. Uh, benefit tomorrow night for the West Memphis Three at the Swedish American.